Hi, my name is Dale Brockner, better known as Magical Balloon Dude. And I had somebody do a request for a baseball mitt that I had actually made for a little child. And this is a baseball mitt for a child, so don't assume that you get it on an adult hand. It's actually designed for a child. I'm using a brown 260Q. That's, they're going to be using three of them. And I want to point out that uh, I'm only using about a half a balloon on almost all of these. So there's a good hand left. So I'm going to start off with a bubble. And I'm going to be actually making the hand. So I'm going for the fingers. Uh, basically this part so far, these four fingers. So as you can tell, each finger is a different height. I'm actually working from the back end forward in this example. So I'm starting with my little finger, next finger, next finger, next finger. To do that, I'm going to take a bubble and create about a two to three inch bubble. Hold it in half and holding that little bubble, I twist again. Give it a good three or four twists so it holds. And we're going to make a another little one inch bubble to a half inch bubble. It's just a small bubble to separate these two. I'm going to measure against the previous one and I'm going to make it just a little bigger. Again, you look at your fingers, it goes by height. So there's a baseball mitt. So I take that, fold it in half again, take these two pieces, twist, second finger, small bubble again, measure, bring it down so they're both the same size. And in this example, I have three fingers so far. Taking my next balloon, and there are some times that I have a little longer, I can make it out of one. In this example, I'm just being able to make three fingers. So what I'm going to do is simply make my little spacer bubble, and then tie in the second balloon. All I'm going to do is tie in two knots, so it's nice and tight. Discard that piece. Now this is going to go up. This is the fourth finger. Come back down. So when you look at this, if I hold them all together, I have what appears to be a hand, but this is actually going to be the glove. At this point, I'm going to do a pinch twist. And I'm going to make about a three inch bubble. What I want to do is spread, twist it in. So I'm spreading out these bubbles, if you want to call them. I fold that back and I tie that back into that pinch twist. So in reality, I have something that looks like this. Now in my picture, you notice everything's nice and close. Slight variation here. Whoops. Twist that around real good. What I'm going to do is take and make a bubble. This is going to be the webbing. So I take the bubble feed it through, and this is basically the tail. I wrap it around so it's locked in. I go through the second one, wrap it around, and I'm actually like doing a baseball mitt. I'm actually sewing or stitching the fingers together. So I go through, pull it up, around, again, last one, Now my fingers are all tied together. I can take this part if I want, just wrap it around. Now right now it's just a little too small for a hand because you can't really fit your hand in there. So I take my last balloon, and if you want you can now take this remaining bubble, turn it into a pinch twist just to make it look nice. So what I do is I take the nozzle, attach it to one of these pinch twists, 
come up, make another bubble, and at this moment I'm going to do a pinch twist again. And I'm actually going to bow the balloon a little by pushing it so I can measure to do my next pinch twist. A little bubble. Now what I do is I come back up, make a bubble, and tie that into the pinch twist. Now it seems a little complicated, but once you realize you get here and you have to fold back up, you'll realize you'll need to make a bubble to twist in. Measure or fold it out. So you have the same size bubble as this size with this pinch twist. Bring it in, wrap it around. Now, you can get carried away and if you want to try making this larger, have more of a webbing, you actually can. You notice in this example here, I'll show you real quick. All I'm doing is bringing this piece up, bubble, I have a pinch twist. I can take this remaining bubble, come back, same size, with a pinch twist, twist it, and then I lock it in. This actually becomes a larger glove. Remove the rest of it, tie it off. Now I have a large left-handed, or if I twist it around, shape it a little. Again, this is for a child to put their hand in. It's not actually for an adult. So if you put it on an adult, they're going to go, it doesn't fit. Well, right, it doesn't fit because it's made for a child. A child hand will fit in here. You can take a round five inch balloon, blow it up, Insert it here, lock it in, it looks like they're catching the ball. This is just a quick little decoration that if you wanted, you could give to a child, or if you're doing a baseball theme party, you could use this. So my name is Dale Obrachta, Magical Balloon Dude. Hope you subscribe to my channel. If not, please subscribe. And you can find more detail and information in my blog at mbd2.com. Click on the blog. I'm constantly blogging. So. Follow me on my channel, follow me on my website, looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, give a thumbs up, give me some comments, I'd like to hear the good news, things you like. Retry it, reblog it, let me know what you're doing. Thank you much, have a great day.